Joe, I think you need to go get tested. <laughs> For what? Why in the – dude, we play somewhat of a little bit of a caricature on here to kind of spruce things up. I am seriously worried about you and think you need to go get checked by the authorities or the doctors because any right human being, mm -hmm. any right human being that will put Oklahoma at 10 is a Rudy Poo. You're sleeping. You've always been an Oklahoma hater, and I think that, that your bias is is seeping into this. But so I said that they were going to go 6-6 six and six last year. Was I right or was I wrong? You were right, and I was really down on – so here's one thing that needs to be identified. I did not have any – I similar to you, had no faith in Oklahoma last year. But it's 2023 now. It's a different year. Okay. Let me explain my logic, and let me, let me see if you – Maybe I can pivot you a little bit to maybe get them around that 12 or 13 number. <laughs> they had one of the best transfer portal classes and pulled two very important players. Walter Rouse, an offensive tackle from Stanford, who's going to replace Anton Harrison. And right. Asam McCullough, who is a supremely talented edge rusher from Indiana. Extremely explosive edge rusher. They also pulled a bunch of other defensive linemen, defensive backs. Their biggest weakness was their defense, and it was because he, Brad Venables did not have the bodies that he needed to build his defense out the way that we saw their level of production at Clemson. He's got those bodies there now. I think the way that they played against Florida State, a game that they – the fact that that was a matchup, a top 15 Florida State team played a 6-6. You just told me that six, was last year. It doesn't matter. Played a 6-6 six and six Oklahoma team. And they played them down in the wire. I think that that game is more reflective of what they can do offensively, what they can do defensively. And they have so much more talent this year coming into 2023. Yeah, but they don't deserve to be there. Why? Because you you got to go based off of what they added. And I do agree that they added some good pieces. But, Joe, what we cannot do is take a team 6-6, six and 6-7 six, six and seven from a year ago, use a bowl game, okay? I'm not using that as my main okay, source, well, source of evidence here. Regardless, they don't deserve to be in the top 15, in my opinion. Because when you do have a losing season, and they had a losing season, okay? Mm -hmm. Just because you're a brand – LSU, just because you're a brand, Florida, just because you're a brand, USC, before Riley, just because you're a brand, Stanford, doesn't really mean anything. You know, teams get – Baylor. Baylor's a prime example too, Joe. Well, last year they won the Big 12. Uh, uh, okay, S sounds good. We had him at number 10. The polls had him at number 10. And I was like, I love Dave Aranda. They have no business being at number 10. Neither does Oklahoma. Now, the only thing, the only thing, okay, that would save them. And you know what's interesting about Oklahoma mm -hmm. is there's only one team, Joe, that they play this year, one, in the regular season. Like, we keep talking about Georgia's schedule and it being weak. Right? Like, we do. Oklahoma okay? has a soft-ass schedule, and I think that they're going to – I said they this have a show, they're going to win the schedule, Big 12. Okay. Yeah. That's why I would keep them maybe at 16. But the only reason that they would be a 10 and 2 team is because there's only one team that has a projected more than six and a half wins, that being Texas. Everybody is six and a half and below. They do not play a good team. I think, no, maybe it's two. I think TCU has seven and a half. I don't, I mean, we've seen Brent Venables fail. Just because, and we saw this with Lincoln, we saw this with Brian Kelly, just because you had players leaving the portal, so did everybody else. So everybody else in the country has a lot of people leaving. You're not excluded from that, okay? He had to replenish, and I get it. They have some talent, and I get it. Offensively, they're going to be better, and I get it. But mm -hmm. let's not act like for just one freaking second that they deserve to be in the top ten. 